To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Les Browns, a motivational speaker, he made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about taking a leap of faith because I myself recently took a leap of faith. And it was a really scary process leading up to it before I did it. And so I kind of wanted to just share that with you and how I went about the process. The main reason for me taking this leap of faith was so that I could be happier, <laughs> be more at peace with my life and myself. And I realized that I had to do this specific thing so that I could reach that. And that's the thing with leaps of faith. They're scary because you don't know where you're landing. You're kind of just throwing yourself with the faith in yourself and in my case as well, faith in God, that things are going to work out regardless of your decision. Like I mentioned, taking a leap of faith was scary, but now that I've done it, I'm actually recognizing that there's a lot of beauty in it as well because of the unknown of what's to come next. And a lot of those things or that unknown that you're leaping into really is dependent on you and how you decide to take it forward from here after you take that leap of faith and your outlook on the situation and the scenario. And so with anything, there's going to be your good and bad. And for me, despite the possible bad that could come out of me taking a leap of faith, there's a lot of good that comes from it. And that's mainly because I'm prioritizing my happiness. And so I just want to talk about this a little bit with you guys. And maybe this will encourage you as well to take your own leap of faith in your life. If you realize certain things aren't making you happy and you want to take it into your own hands, but maybe you don't have a backup option or there's no security or safety in taking that leap of faith. I'm just trying to get across that it's still possible to do those things and still have a good outcome. Pretty much what led me up to fully taking my happiness into my own hands was the fact that I reached a point of very bad burnout and also my mental health was on a bit of a decline as well. And I hope that whoever is watching this, if you realize that you need to take a leap of faith in your life, hopefully you don't reach the same level of burnout as I did before you realize it. Hopefully it kind of snaps in ahead of that because for me, I let it go way, way, way too long before I actually did anything. For someone like me, I kind of have a bit of this need to control things and it's only because I, I'm just very organized. I want things to go perfect and well and taking a leap of faith where I don't really have a plan or a way that I'm going to um, or pretty much I'm not fully in control of this situation because the faith is the main aspect that takes over this situation. Hence the title leap of faith. You are trusting so you have to let go of that control and doing that for me has been a little hard. Whenever the day comes when all is over for me on this earth, I want to make sure that I've lived and I've done whatever it is to not have any regret. And even if things don't work out, at least I can say to myself that I've tried it and I've done it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got something from it. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to post a lot more content now that the summer's here. 
and I have a couple ideas for things to come, so I hope you stick around, and I'll see you in the next one.